Alright, so let's uh, learn about the resistors and how to decode the uh, the color bands that are on them. So the color bands show what the resistance value is of the resistors. And there's several different uh, types of color bands you'll see on the resistors. So there's, there's a resistor that will only have one band and then there's three band four band five band and six band and as far as the one band goes you're only going to find uh, the one band will be black and that will mean that it's a uh, it's just a zero ohm resistor. It's just a jumper wire. So if you ever see that, then it's just getting from one point to another on the circuit board. Alright, so I put together a slide. And I show up here a four band resistor. And the first two bands you see just represent a number. So this one's brown, which is 1, black, which is 0, and then this third band is a multiplier. So you take the first two number bands times the multiplier, which is orange, 1000, to get the value of this resistor. So it would be 1, 0, times 1000, which is 10 kilo ohms. And um, after the two, the two number bands and the multiplier, there's a gap. And then after that gap is the tolerance. And this is supposed to be gold. Um, and gold is a 5% tolerance. Um, if you have a resistor that just has three bands and no tolerance band, then the default tolerance is... 20%. So there's there's what it would be if it had no tolerance band and it was just three bands. So how you know where to to start reading the colors is is by where the gap is. So you'll have your number and tolerance. I mean you'll have your number and multiplier bands and then a gap and then your tolerance band. So right here is a five band resistor. Um, the first three bands are the number bands and then the fourth one is the multiplier and then you got your gap and then you got your tolerance band so this one is red, yellow, green for your number bands red is two, yellow is four, green is five so it's 245 times brown which is ten so 2450 ohms or 2.45k and the silver is a a 10% tolerance so the tolerance is plus or minus 10% um, is what your resistance can vary so it's plus or minus 10% of 2.45 is where that resistance will stay within and then here's a 6 band resistor just like the five band, your first three are number bands, and you have your multiplier, and then you have your tolerance, and then the sixth band is a temperature coefficient, which uh, tells you how much the resistance changes with uh, temperature change. Um, I've also read that the sixth band uh, in military applications can mean the pass fail rate but um, I've I've never seen a six band um, the most common you'll see is four band and five band or a resistor that just shows the value um, so I hope that helps and another way of looking at the multiplier 
is the the same number that shows up in the number band is how many zeros you're going to have after the number so you can look at this one up here let's say you got one zero and then orange and the number band is three so you'd have three zeros after that so you have brown black which is one zero and then three zeros so it's ten thousand so ten k I think that's a little easier to remember than trying to remember the numbers just remember the number band that it's in and then that tells you how many zeros uh, to add on after the the numbers so two four five and then brown is one zero so two thousand four hundred fifty ohms it's a little easier for me to a little easier and faster um, this one down here I this is supposed to be a gold band so on this one when you have a gold band in the multiplier then um, you'll see here that it's it's times 0.1 and then silver is times 0.01 so you have purple which is 7 blue which is 6 gray which is 8 and then your your multiplier is times 0.1 so that'd be uh, 76.8 ohms you got a tolerance of purple which is 0.1 percent temperature coefficient of 50 ppm and if you want to know more about the temperature coefficient, you'll have to um, do some research on your own there. Because since I never never see it, I'm not really going to talk about it because I don't know a whole lot about it myself. The most common resistors I see are the 4 and 5 band. And I <clears throat> typically only see those in power supplies on the newer electronics. And then older electronics, um, they're scattered all over the place. So the newer electronics are going more to surface mount. But the power supplies need to handle uh, more current draw and uh, more power dissipation. So they still have to use the uh, through hole resistors. And some resistors don't come with color bands, they just have uh, the value printed on them, like this one. This is a 1 kilo ohm resistor, and it just says 1 kilo ohm at 1%. So instead of having a color band, it just tells you. And then here is another one that this is a resistor that just tells you that is a 8 ohm and it's a 10 watt resistor. And then here's an example of a uh, a, a five band resistor that uh, this one is brown black black red brown so just to show you in a modern real life application of what resistor bands that look for you got your uh, your four band resistor here you got a resistor that just shows the value of the resistor on it it doesn't have any bands it just shows you the value uh, and then we got a we got a five band resistor right here um, and that's pretty much all you see you got four band five band shows the value of the resistor right there um, and that, that's all I've ever seen is just four and five band resistors and then something that just shows the actual value Alright, so we're going to just read a couple resistors here, just to prove it. So this is red, red, brown, gold. So red, red on a four band is the two number band, so red is two. So I got two, two, brown is times ten. So it would be 220 ohms. That says 217, so that's fairly close. Okay, we got another one here. Another four band. So we got brown, black, gold, gold. So brown is one, black is zero, and then gold is time point one. And um, so 
that would make it 1 ohm. There we go. Alright, so this would be 1 ohm and it's really 1.2. So that's uh, <coughs> that's pretty close. Now we got a 5 band. Alright, this one is brown, black, black, red, brown. So the brown is 1, the black is 0, the black is 0. So those are your two, or those are your three number bands. So you got 100 times um, the fourth is the multiplier, which is red, which is times 100. So it'll be 10,000 ohm resistor. So that's pretty good. Got another one here that just shows the actual value. Says it's 8 ohms. point three there you go this one shows the actual value it says one kilo ohm it's measuring point nine nine eight kilo ohms so pretty close So if you like electronics and you want to learn more, please subscribe and I'll be posting new videos to teach you more about electronics.